OK, rigging the hand now that we've uh, modelled it. So we'll go to the top view. 7 on the number pad. Put the 3D cursor at the uh, first knuckle of the index finger. And then we hit number pad 1 to get the side view, just to make sure it's inside the hand. Space bar. Add armature. Then we want to go down here to the armature options and click X-ray so that we can uh, see it when it's actually within the mesh. Hit the tab key, then the G key and drag it out to the end of the finger. Then right click the whole bone, hit the W key, subdivide multi, and we want three bones, so the number of cuts is going to be two. And so we've got our three bones. Hit the A key to deselect them all. And then we just need to shuffle them around a wee bit to get, uh, hit, get the right angle, basically. So then if we select all three bones, hit Control N and clear the roll. So basically we want the Z axis pointing up. This is the blue arrow pointing upwards so that our bend will be um, across the right axis. Okay, the next thing that we do is to select the tip of this bone, shift S, cursor to selection, and then we hit Spacebar, add a bone, hit the G key, and then we want to tilt it slightly down. This is our effector bone, which is um, actually going to be um, controlled, basically control the eye care of the finger rolls. Then we right click that, control N, and just check that as well. So that's the axis are all set correctly. Having that selected, and then shift select that bone there. Now the mode, we must be in pose mode. And then we hit shift I, add an IK constraint to active bone. And so we've set that. We go down here into our constraints panel, set, set the chain length, which is at 0, to 3. To 3. So it selects those, th affects those three bones. Then we go to the tip of this bone, go back to object mode, select the tip of that bone, shift S, cursor to selection, and then spacebar add a bone, and then tip of this bone here, shift S, cursor to selection, and then right click this bone here, the tip of this bone, shift S and then selection to cursor and it clicks into place exactly where we want it. Then the next thing we do is to right click our effector bone and shift click on this main bone, control P and we'll click keep offset. So we basically parented uh, this IK uh, controller to this main control bone here. Okay, so if we s turn off the gizmos and go to pose mode with just this bone selected, we hit the S key for scale, and when we scale it magically, uh, we get a finger roll. So you see how all the other bones are controlled by the scale of this bone. Okay, we can also scale it and then with the R key we can rotate the bones as well so we get the full uh, movement of the, the knuckle joints through that one bone, which is kind of nifty, I think. Uh, next thing to do is to go back to object mode, select the mesh, then select all the bones, Command P, parent.
there into the armature and create from bone heat. So we click on that. We go back, select the controller bone, then we go to pose mode, hit the S key, and you can see that it hasn't quite, the weight painting isn't quite correct. So then this is a matter of, I won't go through it in this tutorial, but I'll quickly show you. If you go back to object mode, select your mesh, go to weight paint, and then it's a matter of going through and selecting the necessary bones in the weight paint panel here. We've got add and subtract. Uh, when we subtract, well, it'll go blue, and that means, and you can see how the bone, how the the mesh deforms or deforms back to its uh, correct property for the movement of that bone. Um, so it's quite good to set things into position and then to weight paint because then you can see how the bones are affecting uh, the, the rest of the mesh. So if we select uh, this, uh, sorry, we'll go back to weight paint and we'll select that bone. Oops, can't quite grab it. not doing it now but you basically you get the idea so select each bone and then weight paint and see how the um, how the deformation works in terms of how it's affected and that's basically how you rig a finger and then you go through and rig all the others and the thumb making sure that the z-axis is facing opposite to the roll that you want and uh, you should be set then thanks